Soul Seekers are back in San Diego to investigate a house that is over 160 years old. The house was built by William Heath Davis in the early 1850s. This house is known for its amazing history and also known for its paranormal phenomena. It has been said to be in the top five most haunted locations in San Diego. It has been reported to have shadow people, poltergeist activity, multiple disembodied voices, apparitions, footsteps, and other unexplained noises. Joining us here at the William Heath Davis house is our newest investigator, named Eric. This will be one of his first official investigations with Soul Seekers. In this episode, he comes into contact with one of the more dangerous entities in this historic location. And Eric will be able to show you how dangerous paranormal investigating can really be. Another person that will accompany us is Maritza. She is a medium, a Reiki master, and is the founder and lead investigator of the San Diego Ghost Hunters. She will be giving us the information that we need from the spirits. While Maritza is giving us a tour of the house, I went to go get an SD card for one of the night vision cameras. No, he, he went to go grab an SD card. He went to get an SD card. From the car? Uh, no, oh, with from... bags. Okay. And while I was down below the building, Maritza started explaining what people were experiencing in this room. This is one of the weirdest, these two rooms are the weirdest rooms in the house. I, oh. Yeah. Just in this doorway. Well, it's actually a portal. And sometimes it's open, and when you stick your hand through it, you go through a spider web. Really? Wow. Yeah. So if I go... We, we've put our hand through it and you can feel a spider web. And it goes all, when it's open, it goes all the way to the living room. No kidding. And you can, where we sit, where I was showing you we sit, you can put your hand through it down there too. And it's a spider web. It's weird up here, the energy right here. Yes, it is. I can... And Mrs. Mountain is in here. She was one of the first residents of the house. About four minutes later, I am back on my way up, and Eric asks me to go into the room to see what I feel. This will validate exactly what Maritza was saying. Yeah. Yeah, that was me. Alright, come up the stairs slow. Tell me what you feel when you get to the top of the stairs for me. And then I want you to walk through that room and come back through the bedroom. Tell me what you feel. Okay. Go slow and then when you come back up, tell us what you feel in there. You feel mm. anything when you came up to the top? Right here I feel it. What do you feel? Well, I feel the spider web thing that made some energy. How do you know about, did you hear us talking about it? No. I was downstairs. He doesn't really, he doesn't know much about this house. Oh, nice. When we told him on There's a spider web, it will all the way to the yeah. That means there's a portal. If you feel a yeah. spider web, yeah. you're feeling a portal open. What well, did you feel he, over there? What did you um, feel coming first, through that room? Did first, you feel... through that room, I felt a someone standing right next to me, and then all of a sudden, the spider web feeling Later on my arms. Dress. Oh my god, an orb. So it could have been a spider web feeling. All my arms. Web feeling. All my arms. Feeling. All my arms. This orb is definitely not dust because you can see it make a direct turn to the right of the screen, then turns again towards me, then disappears in thin air. The most amazing part about this orb is the sound that it makes when it appears. We did not add this sound at all. This is the raw audio. Listen carefully. Spiderweb feeling. All my arms. Spiderweb feeling. All my arms. Spiderweb feeling. All my arms. Oh my god. An orb. So it could have been Did you feel anything? Did you feel down or cold or anything? 
Uh, when I entered, when I first entered that room, I, I felt uh, entered, when I first entered that entered, when I first entered that. Entered that room, I, I felt uh, a little bit like, like just a heaviness, wrong, like, heaviness, like sadness, a heaviness and sadness. Yeah, I don't know about sadness, but heaviness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's going to be about the same thing anyway. So yeah. yeah. All right. So you know, awesome. for him not even hearing our conversation, no, that's awesome. him coming in after, you yeah. know, I mean, he was yeah. downstairs. He was downstairs. Matt was downstairs, three levels below us, getting a new SD card and a battery for a camera. He wasn't up top. Up, up in the upstairs rooms. I have it all recorded too of me coming up. So everything that Matt just explained that he felt coming through that room, a spider web, somebody standing next to him and a, 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 an immense heaviness that hits your body when you get up here was nothing that we just told Matt. And, and as you guys saw, he wasn't here with us. We were just about to start our investigation when we heard this disembodied voice of a girl humming. Listen closely. A couple hours into the investigation, things start to go bad. Dante and Eric start to feel something wrong with them. This is when the table has turned. It feels heavy in here. Do you feel it? Yeah. I can feel, I can feel it. It totally does. It feels so heavy right now. I want to sit down. It feels that heavy. And my vision, my vision is a little, I'm blurred a little bit right now. And I can feel something right here in my chest. I can, I can feel it. I, I don't know what it is, but. I, <laughs> like I feel something on my back. Like it's just draining the energy from my. Miss Miss Mountain. Does Miss Mountain drain energy? No. No. Let me check. You don't want to drain it. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Can you? Because you can. You can speak with them, kind of, right? You can hear them. Yeah. I don't want to drain. What just happened? Something's attached itself onto Dante. And he's being cleared at the moment. I'm gonna clear that off of him so he stops getting drained. Just my, oh wow. It's like not there no more. Would you mind checking me? Let's see if there's something yeah. there. I feel heavy. I feel something right here. Sometimes your auras will rip because the entities want to tap to me with them. <laughs> Great. Makes it easier for more to, to attach. I have a tear in my aura, apparently. Yeah. Which means something's been attached to me. We're going to try and see what can happen if we can get that out, get that help out. Breathing is a little more restricted right now. I can feel it. Like I want to sit down. Yeah. It's getting a little tougher to breathe. Here's my rain. I need to sit down. Oh, man.
By the name of Jesus Christ, I command all evil and negative spirits to leave the earth now. something very interesting just happened uh, the lady that we have with us her name's Maritza uh, she's a Re Reiki master she knows all about energy spiritual energy human energy everything um, Eric was complaining about feeling like he had something on him and um, the lady Maritza came and said you have a tear in your aura and as soon as she said this not even a minute or two after Eric went down. We caught that on video for you guys to see. Paranormal investigating is not a joke. Anything is liable to happen at any given time. What you just saw there is an example of how dangerous paranormal investigating can be. He, Eric is never going to be the same again at what he just experienced. Mm -hmm. And this experience is just to show you guys that the paranormal field is not just a walk in the park sometimes. Sometimes you will have to deal with demons. And this is exactly why someone that is not well protected can deal with very negative forces. While Eric is outside being cleared out from the negative energies, we decided to do some provoking to this evil spirit. Whoever did that to Eric, I want you to come out now. Come and face me. Come on. You're weak. Can you not handle me? You can't do anything? Why don't you come after me, huh? Come on, you piece of sh Here, let's have an interview with Eric. Hey, Eric. Eric. Eric, we want to interview you. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing, I think here, there's a hole in my aura. Uh, apparently, I had minions, which are helpers of demons. Oops. Oh. Uh, so there is demons here? Not necessarily. Or, or did they follow you from a previous investigation? They, she said they've been with me for a while. Ah. Uh, she's cleared me. I feel lighter. I feel different. I have a tingling up into my head and maybe a small headache because there's a chakra, right? Yes. It's called a chakra. It's a, it's a center that's right here that they go after. So they're clearing out of me right now. Two orbs just came out of Eric's head, which validates what Maritza was telling Eric about the entities clearing out of him. Okay. Uh, is it okay if you could uh, see if I have anything? Because sure. like, I've been doing investigations for years now. Uh, yeah. I'm curious if I have any attachments. Cause I yeah, you stuff. guys have to learn how to clear yourselves every time you do an investigation. They follow me home all the time, and I've been attacked once. Yeah, I that's had one stop my Yeah, we need to talk to. We need to. We need to learn how to do that. Yeah, it's really. I mean, my girls. We all meditate. And we meditate on a very high level, I so the, vibrate, the vibrations are way, way up. And then um, we clear ourselves all the time. So my, I had one of my girls, she took stuff home all the time. I feel your energy. Yeah, the Reiki. You have some very strong energy. You have a good, I think, a very good protection shield around you. Or Look, it's out them. here. I mean, it's strong. It's pushing my hands away. Look at that. I can bring it. Yeah, I can still. Wow. 
Oh, see, your shield is huge. Your aura. Wow. Is wow, I can still feel it out here. Yeah, it's still, it's still pushing my hand out. Can you feel that? I feel your energy. Or it may be mine, I don't know, but yeah, I feel energy. Yeah, look at that. I, I can, feel my energy right now. It's like I'm pushing a wall in. And I, I actually, I feel you doing that too. Yeah. I gotta build a shield. You do, and, and I, I can show you how. Okay. A medium told me that Archangel Michael's one of my spirit guides. That's who I use. I use all the angel energy. That's how I cleared you. How you cleared me? Yeah. Oh. They're well, my helpers. <laughs> thank you. You are right, man. In fact, Michael is the one who was causing the tingling in your nose. <laughs> is it? Yeah, that's no. who it was. I can feel it still. Yeah. It's still in there. Wow, yeah. your aura is gigantic. Wow, wow man. It really is. That's awesome. Yeah. No, you you got you're good. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. Wow, Maritza, you're you're teaching us a lot of really cool things. I think it's important to, to clear and, and I knew I, I've been yourself. told many, many times by other people that I need to clear myself and I do meditate sometimes and I pray to God all the time. Yeah, yeah. See I do too. Because right? I have such a trust in God. Yeah. He's helped me oh, so no, much. I know, my... me too. It's, it's a, but I can show you guys how to, to protect yourself so that doesn't happen again. I guess I, I've already protected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So totally. when, when somebody has that aura that big, like uh, how Matt has it, um, does that mean it's like harder for spirits to attach themselves? Um, yeah, well, he says he prays a lot, so that strengthens the aura. And then um, his belief in God, that strengthens the aura. But what you have to do is surround yourself because we're the only country that doesn't do it. A lot of the, well, Europe, a lot of them don't do it. But um, you have to envision a white light around you, and it's very hard. And if you don't do it, you have holes or you can't see it at all. So every night you just envision that white light. When I started visioning the white light, I felt a powerful, peaceful energy come into me. And Dante captures an orb that entered me at the same exact time. I believe that this orb was from an upper power because of the peaceful energy that I felt during this moment. You have holes or you can't see it at all. So you have holes or you can't see it at all. So you have holes or you can't see it at all. So you have holes or you can't see it at all. So every night you just envision that white light surrounding you and you start to see it stronger and stronger and stronger. It's about, what, 2.15? Uh, so you got 2.15. About 2.15 in the morning. We're gonna see if we stirred anything up. It's almost dead time. It is. So that's when the demons fight in that. So these doors, these doors is, is back into it. This is traveling back in time. We decided to head to the kitchen to see if we could communicate with one of the kids that have been reported to be in this area of the house. We did a spirit box session except none of the voices came out clearly enough and a spirit by the name of Lubis was telling Maritza that the SP7 was bringing in evil. So we stopped the session and just tried the flashlight experiment and some EVP sessions. And this is what we captured. It scratches oh. me up. Oh, oh, were you recording? Um, oh, wow. Everybody, we just the light out. just went out. I didn't record the light, but the light just went on. Can you do that again? Can, Can you, you do that again for me, please? Turn the light on. Thank you. Can you Nobody is touching you this light. You. Very you. good. You can see that nobody is near this light. Can you do that for me one more time, Lewis. please? Louis, is that you? Can you turn the light on? Was that you? That is amazing. Who turned the light on? Oh. oh. Wow. Thank you. It's so here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use one flashlight for yes, one flashlight for no. Choose which one you want for yes. Can you turn one of the flashlights? Thank you. So, Whoa, thank so that's you. gonna be your yes flashlight, okay? If we ask you a question. I don't know if this one's set to do it though. And your answer is yes. Go this ahead one. and turn that light this light on. If your answer is no, don't turn anything on. Uh, 
Okay. Thank you for your response. That was Lewis. You're really good. I was asking Lewis, are you upset still? Because he was kind of like, yes, he's he very is upset. Lewis, Lewis, you are upset. Will you answer my question? I'm sorry, Lewis. Yes. Lewis, I am very sorry. Um, will you accept my apology? Do you forgive us, Lewis? Lewis, thank, thank you. you for accepting my apology. I am very sorry to bring something like that into this house. Is there something evil that's attached to that device, Lewis? Is there something evil that's attached to it? It's a... Yeah. Oh, wow. He wow. let us know definitely. Wow. So, Lewis, are you saying that that device itself we should get rid of? Or we should maybe clear that device. Clear you have to clear it and bring it in. You can shoot radio. You need to close to the it. portal. That's what you need to do. And bring Just the same thing the... with the Ouija board. You need to close yeah. it before you, yeah. you have to sign out. He, he hasn't. Yeah. He didn't respond. Lewis, if you, it, I'm going to ask you another question. There's a device that's that's next to these two flashlights with the green light. Will you touch it for me? Can you make it make a noise for me, Lewis? Or do you want us to just stick with the flashlight? That one doesn't make a noise. Oh, that. Dante just moved it closer to the flashlight. Did you see that? Can you come up and, and see? Lewis has got zero, zero. Okay, see if you move it, you come over and touch it, you can see the numbers. It'll go one, two, three. Can you do that, Lewis? Okay, that would be nice. Thank you. Thank you, Lewis. Are the children okay, Lewis? Are they hiding? Okay, thank you. Lewis, did the, did, did the spirit box scare them away? Scare them away. Lewis, are the children still here in the room with us? Okay, my thing's passing up. <sighs> Maybe one of the kids are playing with it. Are you playing with my camera? Lewis, are one of the kids oh playing gosh. with Matt's camera look, at the moment? Look, 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 record that. Record me. Record, record that. it. Record it. Record the camera. Yeah. That's very. What it's is that? Are you guys doing something to my camera? This is a new battery. Let me see, man. I can't see the screen. Wow. You can hear it. Lewis, is that you doing that to the camera? Lewis, do you not like us recording in here? Is that the children? Oh, okay. Thank you. You, you <laughs> said he doesn't like us recording in here. Well, we have to to show the world that you do you exist. That battery. Lewis, are you okay with us being in the house? Oh, Batteries out. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Lewis. Welcome. He touched my head. <laughs> Did you, Lewis? Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, you for coming in the room. I saw him in my mind going like this to my head, he and you, then I like, felt like, it. <laughs> that's um, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Lewis, thank you. Thank you so much for coming in here. What you're saying? Here, how many fingers am I holding up? And I want you to blink it. How many times I have uh, of how many fingers I have up? It's two fingers, Lewis. You have to blink it that many times. Can you blink it twice, Lewis? Come on. <gasps> two. Oh! oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Lewis. There it is. Lewis. Job. Lewis. <laughs> Lewis, you've just given me goosebumps, Lewis. <laughs> Very good. Lewis, thank yeah. you. Oh wow, Lewis! Yes. Lewis thank you, Lewis. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis, my, my hair's my we hair's standing. My hair started standing on end. Mine did too. My hair started standing on end when we were all clapping. My hair started well, standing started on end. Really cold. Lewis, amazing. That was amazing. Good, wow. Good job. This is hard evidence that we are communicating with a spirit at this moment. Here is the replay.
Was there something in this house that knocked me out? He said it was upstairs, but he doesn't know what it was. Oh! Strong. Yeah. He, he, he wanted to tell you yes. Is it from the house? house? Are you recording the... Uh, yeah. Hold on one second. He can't, he can't see it. About six minutes have went by without any more responses. Maritza says Lewis is now resting from communicating so much on the flashlight. So, this is evidence that the flashlight wasn't just have like a short and it's just doing it by itself. This is evidence because it hasn't done it for about how many minutes now? Yeah. It's been about yeah. 10 minutes. I 10 wanted... minutes? No, I think a little bit less than that. But it's been like six minutes and it hasn't gone off once. But when we were communicating with Lewis, it went off, I don't know how many times, more than 20 times. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. All right, hold and it was time. during questions, when we were asking questions. Because there's a lot of skeptics that say it's just a short in the battery, and that's why it goes off all by itself, which is sometimes true. But when it answered so intelligently like that, that shows that it's, it's legit. Like, we just asked it to do it t two little flickers, and it did it exactly what we said. It's a very solid evidence. Can you get all the way through that door on the diag here? To get your position. Right here. You're staying right here. I gotta get up. Do you think that whatever it was that came to me was that urine smell? I think yeah, that maybe. triggered it. You know why? I think that you, triggered it. I think so too. You know why? Because ever since that happened, it's never came back after that. Yeah. But what do you mean? What? There was something here that was smelling well, like what that? is it? Just like I when demons come, when demons come, sulfur smell. The sulfur. You, help you, you smell sulfur when demons come. But yeah. that might have been a different way of it showing its presence in it by some kind of scent. Well, it was a low, low vibration, so it couldn't give off a good scent. When we are all getting up to leave, we captured an anomaly that we call a stringer. It is known to be another energy form that spirits can form into. You can see the stringer exit my body. Here is the replay. Something here that was smelling. Well, like what that? is it? Just like I when demons. Was something here that was smelling. Well, like what that? is it? Just like I when demons. These are our last pieces of evidence of the night. This orb does a complete 360 degree turn, then shoots forward to prove that this is legit. I think Lewis might be tired. Yeah, he's, he's I, I just really did catch a, like an orb, but right by you, Maritza, so it was a real one. Yeah, it was. So Lewis is here with us. It's just it came into the frame and it left. He just might be tired. And Dante caught these three shadow images throughout the night. Dante took 73 photos with this camera, and only three of these photos had these shadow masses. Is this a message from something evil? Mocking the Trinity? Well, I can tell you one thing. This isn't any of our shadows, because there is no light source that could cast our shadows during the time these photos were taken. We do our investigations in total darkness. There is no good reason for these shadows to be in our photos. Once again, Soul Seekers have proven another location to be haunted. We have also gotten newer reports mentioning that a few more people have been oppressed in this house since Soul Seekers have left the William Heath Davis house. Stay tuned. For more episodes and please subscribe to our channel to see more amazing evidence of the paranormal.